Here I'm doing my hamstring graft prep. I've retrieved both a semitendinosus and gracilis. So I do a transtibial tunnel, but I actually flip cut my femoral tunnel in reverse socket technique. I also go anterior medial portal depending upon the equipment that I have. So I always create at least a 20 millimeter femoral socket. I measure my graft to 180 millimeters. This will allow me to have a 20 millimeter femoral socket, a 30 millimeter intraarticular length, and a 40 millimeter tibial tunnel. I'll bring my graft up after I mark it and whip stitch it to 180. I leave my tails intact so if I'm undersized I can bring my tails back up and over. And here you can see I need to bring them up and over in order to upsize the graft. In this case I'll end up with an 8.5 femur and a 10.5 tibia. So I go ahead and whip stitch these back together. I'll add a piece of Parker's tape which allows me to brace the graft. And I'll fix it on the femoral side with a cortical button. On the tibial side, I will do a screw, and if I've got a short graft, meaning my graft is up inside the tunnel, and the screw has to go inside the tunnel to achieve optimum fixation, then I'll back this up with a GFSX naked out on the tibia itself. This will give me a cortical fixation on the tibia rather than using a screw. So here you can see me go ahead and whip stitch my graft, and I'll pull that knot inside the graft construct so I don't have it protruding. So once I've got my graft prepared, I can go ahead and tug it into the joint itself. And I add an amniotic membrane wrap both in the femoral tunnel and the tibial tunnel to aid in the formation of Sharpie's fibers. So here you can see I've got a nice graft size at 8.5 on the femur. And I get a 10.5 on the tibia utilizing this flipping technique.